we here we are today. How's everybody doing? Look at this. Beautiful Saturday. Wind blowing 17 miles an hour. I was hoping to be able to go swimming, uh, go swimming, go flying today. Wind gusting up to 25. That's a little too much for me. But, yeah, that, that one's not moving all that much. It's really moving out there, that's for sure. But with all of that, turn on a light. Uh, let's see what's new. That's what's new. Spectrum 8 Plus. Yep, I went and did it, guys. Let me see, when did I pick this bad boy up? On the 13th of November. That was, what, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, had this thing for two weeks and hadn't told anybody about it. Kept it a secret. I got it all programmed for the Habu. That's all programmed in. Arrow Scout number two. That's all programmed in. And Aero Scout number one, that one's all programmed. And I even got it programmed for the Cherokee. And uh, last, was it last night? The night before that. New four cell battery came in. That's what we're going to power the Habu with. And it's a little heavy for the Cherokee, but we're going to make that work anyway. So while I'm kind of messy over here, I was looking for a piece of Velcro to put, put on my battery. Um, okay, the NX-8. Why did I buy the NX-8? Well, do you really get your money out of it that you paid for? That's the question. I'm not going to tell you how much that costs. You can go look it up on Horizon Hobbies website, and uh, it was it was a pinch, I'll tell you that. And then had to turn around and buy the receiver for it too, so that was another hundred and twenty-five dollars, guys. So when you start buying like the NX10 and stuff like that, I got me a little cheat sheet right here. So you know when you go and buy yourself the ten-channel radio, you know you don't have to buy the ten-channel receiver. But if you're like me, you will. And I went and bought the uh, 8360T trans uh, receiver. Since it, I bought a 8-channel transmitter, I bought an 8-channel receiver. And if you did the same thing with the 10-channel uh, uh, NX, uh, you're looking at the same thing. Except uh, the equivalent of a 10-channel receiver for the 10-channel would be the AR 10360T at 170 bucks for one receiver. I mean, it's like, is it worth it? Considering, you know, you can get you can get the whole fly sky thing, and but you know, you're just you're you're just not getting you're, you're not you're not getting the whole spectrum thing. So it, it's really on what are you getting for your money. And all the features and all the value, you know, is, is it really there? Are you going to use the features? And I'll say honestly, no, I probably won't use all the features. But I tell you what, the fe features that are there are quite amazing. I'll tell you that much. But that's what we got. $349. Yeah, that's what the, that cost. And, uh, yeah. Quite a chunk, but I'll be able to use that for a long, long, long time. They say that that's expandable up to 20 channels. Now, I wish somebody would explain to me how that's possible. Because if I'm going to occupy 8 out of here, 
and I have, I think, what, 10 or 12 uh, mixing capabilities. Okay, so you use up all of that. How are you going to get the other 12 channels? Where does that come from if all these little switchies and knobbies are to use on other things? Somebody needs to explain that to me. That's about it. Hopefully I'll go fly tomorrow and uh, give the old Habubu a good, a good run through. That should be fun. I'm going to have to save that one till uh, next week. I just can't get them all in my car. That's the problem. Okay. I'll get Habubu and Aero Scout in the car. I'll bring this along and the original transmitter with the Aero Scout. And uh, just to make sure I have both of them as a backup. Okay. Guys, have fun, enjoy your day, and we will uh, get back with you very soon.